amazing to travel through Iceland with motorbikes. There's not a lot of motorbikes around. Huh? And to be able to leave uh, Reykjavik and after 20 kilometers find yourself in some of the most beautiful natural surroundings is amazing. Yeah, I've never seen that in my life. I relieve this moment when I jump on his bike and I really feel that uh, it's the first experience on a motorcycle for him. And for myself, it's the second time that I can be close to Mike and show him my world. It was something new also for you to be able to drive a bike uh, crossing this river, going through these rocks, uh, going slow control the bike on the twisty area and trying to go fast and use the whole engine when, when, when there's a straight line. On the road it's relatively easy but I never drove a bike in loose sand and you know I fell very hard on the land of <laughs> Iceland. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, the bike survived, and that's, uh, I think, we, we survived, and that's um, what makes the experience so great. Oh, I have no visier. Mike! There are marchands of pneus there! Do they have pneus in 180? 68. Very quickly, with his advice and his knowledge, you can do the right action when needed in the right situation. Otherwise, you keep on making mistakes. So the learning process to be with somebody like Cyril is much faster. And then once you've learned it and you practice it, that's when you can do it. It means a lot because uh, to show Mike a new element, a new vehicle, a new race, a new place, it's not so easy with all the background he had, cycling, running, climbing, sailing. Traveling with a bike, that's something completely new to me. You're so close to nature, you feel the wind, you get wet in the rain, you dry your clothes around the fire, you heat yourself up in the sun when there's sun. And that is, that is what makes you feel one with nature. On an adventure like this, we, we're not pushing our capabilities to the extreme. It's much better to share an experience because to be able to see not only from your point of view, but the point of view of others, that's when you can discuss what you've seen together. Because Cyril might be looking at something different than I would be looking. And because we're on bikes, sometimes um, the landscape goes past very quickly. And we only get glimpses of the beauty of nature. When you get a glimpse twice, that makes a story. This is a good tool to bring yourself and, and your friends to the right spot quickly and it looks like in the last few days we have made a trip of uh, two months <laughs> yeah, yeah. with all, all we saw, the emotion we had in a different place, different kind of nature and uh, yeah, normally you have to travel a lot. On an island as small as Iceland up in the Arctic, to be able to live through so many emotions and see complete different landscapes in a thousand kilometers is very difficult to find anywhere else in the world.
you discover not only places, but you discover more about yourself and the person next to you. <laughs>